Following the boots of Assetto Corsa games, made specifically as a realistic sim game, at number one we have from maybe two years ago through its reveal trailer, a game called Rensport. Now I mentioned Rensport maybe once and that was like a year ago. So after all the wait, we finally got a trailer for it, Rensport doesn't really have a release date yet, but the folks behind the project promised a December 2023 release window, PCs and the next generation of consoles as well. Not to mention, it'll actually be a free to play game. Follow-up to the 2017 Forza Motorsport 7, the same, this time just Forza Motorsport, supposedly 8, is finally coming out October 10 for PCs and Xbox Series X and S only. I mean, Turn 10 Studios released some gameplay on the thing here, a mix of in-game and some cinematic, and the premise that the new Motorsport will be a generational leap in immersion, with the addition of ray tracing, better physics and vehicle destructions, and a full day and night cycle. There's actually a lot more where that came from. That was your best lap yet. This is my time life. Hold on to your accessories, this could get bumpy. Turbo boost, activate! Available through early access on PCs, coming over to the PlayStation consoles both by the end of the month, at number 3 we have Disney Speedstorm, which is a racing gacha where you play as old Kingdom Hearts and other Disney characters, even Pixar. Now, the season 2 for the game just kicked off last week and brought with it the Toy Story characters this time around. I'm not gonna lie here guys, if you can just stand microtransactions and gacha components of a console game, but specifically <laughs> made like a mobile game, this is a top notch one otherwise just skip it there are better racing games than life hey all right After multiple delays and pushes, Solar Crown, I mean Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown, is now shaping up for a beta in the following month and a full release by the end of the year too, officially announced with a post. No new trailers, just a cinematic, which is also copyrighted. Solar Crown is taking place in Hong Kong, which, believe it or not, made on a one-on-one -on -one scale of the region, taken from little alleys to highways and more. This game is mostly a multiplayer open world racing game, just like Burnout Paradise.
Ubisoft just confirmed that the Crew Motor Fest will now release September 14. They release a deep dive trailer into gameplay and another one, if this wasn't enough, coming in about two days. Crew Motor Fest, in case you're just new here, is the open world also racing game taking place in Hawaii. Where just like Forza Horizon, not only you'll be racing but roaming, jumping obstacles, exploring a lot and enjoy some next generation graphics and a decent soundtrack to boot. Check it out in case you missed out on the update. Now, Hot Wheels Unleashed, you probably know this was actually one of the biggest surprises of 2021 into racing gaming. After all the success and anticipation for a new entry, Milestone is now back with a sequel called Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 Turbocharged, which is almost the same game where you'll be collecting a ton of Hot Wheels vehicles, monster trucks, and etc. Except each one now has a unique skill tree, and there's even bikes inside the game. Check it out, game's releasing on October 19. A sprint victory and points up for grabs right here. Come July 31st, we will have hands on Frontier's second officially licensed Formula One management game, F1 Manager 2023. And I'm not sure, but apparently letting you take control of a, any team now. It's a racing sim with this new element called scenario based mode, where the player picks a team and takes part in a full experience from start to finish of a Formula One competition. That is, racing, adjusting, choosing a driver, and everything in between. Check it out, in case you missed it. Just what Charles Leclerc can achieve here. Oh, and that's a crash! Are there any opportunities? I'm driving. Push and hold, overtake. And push now, maximum push now. And McLaren with a great overtake! Good one for the team. Well done, everyone. A fantastic result for McLaren there. Stay right here, because we're just getting started. Coming up at number 8, we've got Horizon Chase 2, which is a literal tribute to classic arcade racing games described by developers as a love letter to all retro gamers, with a super addictive gameplay inspired by the greatest hits from all the way back in the 80s and 90s. Horizon Chase 2 is available on the Apple Store and it's been there since April, but now coming to PCs and all consoles with all DLCs released and more as a paid game and releasing later this year, sometime later this year. Announced at the THQ Nordic Showcase, almost the same time now but last year, Recreation, which is by the way a spiritual successor to Burnout game, if you're new to, we've known about this game since two years ago, is now finally coming out for all consoles and PCs next month. 
I mean, that's what we heard, nothing solid, it might be rumors. This is a arcade open world racer also, in case you didn't know, blending the best of Burnout and another racing game I'm sure most of you are familiar with called Trackmania. Check it out to accompany the news related trailer for week 2. After almost three years of wait, Ride 5 is almost here finally. The game is eventually releasing for PCs in the next generation of consoles on August 24 this year. This is the same as all MotoGP games, except this one has a rather more interesting or serious take on road bikes, environments and such. Here's a trailer, I mean two more trailers actually, but this one's specifically gameplay, which is almost the first gameplay since we've heard about this game, and that the game will be a single and multiplayer, but heavier on the single player side. Nacon and Nupika, the fine developers, just came up with a trailer on Overpass 2, the sequel to the off-road racing game Overpass that was released early 2021, which was a sim game in nature and the word that the new game here is releasing for pieces in the next generation of consoles only October 19 this year. Well, apparently the fine folks are now recreating the same terrain physics, vehicle behavior and the authentic sensation of a very technical sport. I mean, that's what they said. This are elements, this is how it looks. Five of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC. Introducing Squeaky Clean Sprint. Three more characters, on the other hand, were announced for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe a few days ago and a new trailer for it. A release window of Fall 2023 for the Nintendo Switch exclusively. Now, in case you're just confused here, this is just a booster course pass DLC for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Nothing crazy, just that it's the fifth serve of additional content released for the game so far, and these are how they look. Wave 5 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC. Like a quick reminder of the Smurfy driving skills. Let's start with Hefty Smurf, who will show us how to perform the Turbo Starts. And last but not least, we have Smurf Scar coming to PlayStation 4, 5, Switch and Xbox consoles only on August 22nd. Smurf Scar is actually from the same developers of Gear Club Unlimited, Test Drive Unlimited games and a bunch of other goodness in racing games. The difference here, as opposed to just realistically looking racing games, is you play as Smurfs with their individual card and unique power, superpowers, and play in single player and multiplayer too. Check it out, in case you missed it. Find and use the shortcuts and drive on the boost areas to enter a state of dimensional boost. Just perfect to win the race, right? Last but not least, our final advice is coming directly from Handy Smurf, who does not hesitate in using his items on tracks. We promise it's not cheating. If you use all these skills in race, we guarantee a flawless victory, especially when you will play in multiplayer mode, up to four Smurfs competing. This video was brought to you by Smurfs Kart, the video game.